What's happening, boys? It's Tvibok here, and welcome to the second upload of the day. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. We are doing an upgrade video, FIFA 15 upgrade video featuring African players. I'm calling this African Upgrades, featuring some African players that are going to get major upgrades, in my opinion, and some that might see uh, slight uh, improvements. But, uh, yeah, guys, before we get in the episode, if we could blast 2,000 likes on this episode, that would be fantastic. As well, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, as I do upload twice daily. If you want to interact with me on Twitter, it's at HD. But, boys... This is my first uh, upgrade video, so as always, guys, these are just my opinions, so if you have anything you guys want to add, if there's a player I missed, if there's a stat you disagree with, make sure to let me know in the comment section below. Let's get into the freaking episode. All right, guys, so many of us know that Bakar Asanya has moved on to Manchester City, so uh, Arsenal are going to need to fill that void at right back, and one of the names that is floating around is REA. He is from the Ivory Coast. He currently plays for Toulouse. I'm not sure if his contract is up yet, technically how that works, but uh, I know Arsenal are are trying to go after him. In FIFA, he has a 75 overall gold card. He has an inform as well as a team of the season card. His team of the season goes for 82. His uh, his inform is 77 overall and his regular 75. Now, the upgrade as I see it, and I do feel he deserves one, guys, because he was named the best fullback in League One. He was crowned that achievement. I'm not sure what the actual award is, but they named him the best uh, fullback in League One, so that is definitely something. My prediction is a 79 overall gold card with 81 pace, 48 shooting, 75 passing, 68 dribbling, uh, 81 defending, and 76 heading, so somewhere in between his regular card and his team of the season card with a little bit of infusion from his inform. So usually when a guy goes from a lesser league to a arguably the greatest league in the world, which uh, the Premier League certainly uh, competes for that. I mean, obviously the Bundesliga is rising, but Premier League, I think there's no argument about it. It is still the elite league in the world. He's going from League One to the Premier League, so I can see him getting a pretty decent upgrade. So I've, get, I've given him four points overall, and I went into some of the uh, went into some of the stats. But certainly one of the right backs to look out for if you're starting out a Premier League side. If he ends up going to Arsenal, if he stays in League One, uh, probably in good shape there. Let's move on to our second player. All right, boys, so this next player, Abu Bakr, is one I'm a little skeptical of because EA sometimes does not reward players that are deserving of it, and this guy certainly is. He's only 22 years old, which is one reason why I think EA might not upgrade him. They might want to wait to see if he's the real deal, but uh, you can't argue with his stats. Finish third in scoring in League One, which is very difficult to do, especially as a 22-year-old. He's got a 70 overall uh, silver card and a 74 overall striker card. He doesn't have any. Uh, he doesn't have four-star skill moves, I believe. Three-star weak foot, three-star skill moves. Uh, it's Cameronese. Uh, he's from Cameroon. He had two-time man of the match as well in League One this past season. So um, nine goals in the previous two seasons, and then last season he scored 16 goals in 24 appearances. That ratio is absolutely bananas. He deserves an upgrade. To be honest with you, he deserves to be 76-77 uh, overall uh, gold card. But what I projected him at, and I wouldn't be surprised if EA does it, they're only going to give him an upgrade of two points. I think 72 overall with 87 pace, 72 shooting, 56 passing, 65 dribbling, and 74 heading. Maybe give him four-star skill moves. Who knows? But they need to reward this guy in some manner because he did stand out in League One. We're talking about the third most uh, player that scored the third most goals in League One. That definitely deserves to be rewarded. Let's move on to our next player. Alright guys, so my next player is Solomon Kalu. He has two informs, 78 overall regular card, 80 inform, and then an 81 inform. Uh, his stats are pretty crazy. He's got four-star skill moves. He had 66, uh, 66 appearances with Lille and 30 goals. That ratio is pretty solid. Um, very solid goal scoring ratio in League One. Uh, and then from, uh, consider that from 2006 to tw uh, 2012, he scored 36 goals. In just 66 appearances with Lille, he scored 30 goals. That ratio is very, very solid. Uh, was a standout performer last season, linked with Arsenal, 28 years old, turns 20, uh, turns 29 in about a week's time. But I think he definitely is deserving an upgrade to the tune of 84 pace, 79 shooting, 71 passing, 86 dribbling, 43 defending, and 75 heading. Um, I think he might deserve a little bit more of an upgrade, but like I said, age might have something to do with the upgrades and how EA rewards them. But uh, again, guys, these are just my opinions, so feel free to comment in the comment section below. Tell me anything you want about these particular players, uh, what I'm getting wrong, what I'm getting right. But anyway, let's move on to our next player. All right, guys, next up is Wilfred Bonney. Uh, plays for Swansea, 80 overall gold card, 81 overall inform card. From the Ivory Coast, a common theme among some of the players in these, uh, in these upgrade uh, videos. 26 years old, so he's in the prime of his particular career. 34 appearances, 16 goals last year is with Swansea, which I believe was good for top 7 or top 8 for goals scored in the Premier League. Um, but yeah, had 46 goals 
in the previous two seasons. So before he joined Swansea, he had 46 goals in two seasons with Vitesse, which is a fantastic ratio. Again, very efficient producer. His card in FIFA, his gold card is 94 strength, 84 jumping, and 82 heading. He certainly played in a manner which deserves an upgrade. So imagine, imagine if there's any upgrade from that 94 strength. I don't want to imagine it being severe, but uh, I'm thinking maybe 95, 96 strength. Don't think they're really going to go ham increasing his strength, but in terms of his card, I think he gets an 80 overall gold. Hopefully, I think he, re he deserves an 82 or 83 overall, but I think he gets an 80 overall card with 75 pace, 79 shooting, 55 passing, 74 dribbling, 55 defending, and 87 heading. Again, the shooting is deserved because of the goals that he has scored. Also, his heading is ridiculous. Um, he can do it in the air. He can play it. Uh, he, he's got a fantastic. Uh, he's got a fantastic leg as well. But uh, that is Bonnie. Let's move on to our next player. Alright guys, next up is Gervinho. He's got a whole bunch of inform cards. His regular card is 79 overall. He's got an 80 overall inform and then a team of the season 85 overall card, which I think the upgrade is going to be some blend in between the, uh, the three of those particular cards. 27 years old. 91 agility. He's from the Ivory Coast. Again, I know I'm probably boring you guys with guys uh, with players from the Ivory Coast, but uh, in 12 appearances in 2012, he had five goals and three assists. In 30 appearances in 2013, he had nine goals and 10 assists. The upgrades I see him getting to the tune of an 82 overall card with 90 pace, 73 shooting, 78 passing, 84 dribbling, 51 defending, and 55 heading. I think this guy is going to be a complete package. If he moves, uh, if he moves squads, who knows? We'll see. Maybe the Premier League. Premier League seems to uh, suck up all the great talent from other leagues, um, but we will see if he moves. If he stays, uh, that is to be determined. Let's move on to our next player and one of my favorites that um, not many people know about. Let's move on to him. All right, guys. So next up is Chike Diabate. He's got a 70 overall silver card, and oddly, his inform card <coughs> is only 74 as well. So um, 26 years old. He's from Mali. He plays for Bordeaux. He finished 10th in League One behind... Um, behind uh, Vincent Abubakar, who finished third in League One. I think the next African was, in fact, our boy Diabate here. Finished 10th in League One with nine, uh, sorry, with 12 goals in 17 appearances. How is that for consistency? He had uh, eight goals in the season before, so you're talking about going from eight goals to 12 goals as well. He's 6'4", has 87 strength. Imagine if they build on that. He could be the League in League One version of Mlapa. I think he, needs, he deserves a little bit more pace. He's got 66. I'd love to see them get him up to the 70 range, but realistically, I think they give him 68 pace on his new card, which will be 75 overall, 74 shooting, 60 passing, 71 dribbling, 46 defending, and 81 heading. Um, again, most of these guys, I'm being very conservative with the upgrades. I think they deserve a little bit more, especially a guy like Diabate. Let's move on to our last player. Last but not least, it couldn't be an African upgrade video without Yaya Torre. He's getting up there in age, guys. He is currently, I believe he's 29 or 30, might be a little older than that, but he's got a gold card that's 86 overall, he's got an inform that's 87, and then a team of the season that is 92 overall. Um, he had 7 goals and five, in, uh, 5 assists in the year prior to last. Last season, 20 goals, 9 assists. That is ridiculous. His, his 78 long shot rating should be upwards of 83 or 84. I think that's one of the micro stats that I think he should be upgraded to. And then his regular card, I think he's going to see an upgrade. A uh, few points, so he's going to have an 88 overall card with 78 pace. Uh, 81 shooting, 84 passing, 81 dribbling, 86 defending, which is a significant upgrade. Um, and then 85 heading. And he is going to truly be an elite... Uh, by far and away the best center defensive mid if that's the position he retains in uh, FIFA 15 obviously you're going to apply a card and change it but um, I think he is going to be one of the most elite as if he's not already but a very uh, very very standout um, midfielder in the Premier League like what am I even saying of course he's going to be the best one he's the best uh, uh, defensive midfielder in the in the Premier League right now but anyway guys that is my video um, that is probably I think that's my first ever prediction video because I didn't Let's see, I, I didn't do FIFA 13. All I did in FIFA 13 was pink slips. And then FIFA 14, I've done a whole bunch of different stuff. Road to Glory, Squad Builders, pink slips, wagers, all that good stuff. Um, so this is my first prediction video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, give me some feedback if you guys want to see more. Let me know what country maybe. If you guys give me a country in the comment section below, I could analyze, I could go through a bunch of research. Because I did do a lot of research when I came to these players. I don't just want to give you guys the easy stuff. Um, but uh, yeah. Uh, let me know a country that I could do an upgrade video for and I will do it because you guys deserve it. Anyway, hit that uh, subscribe button if you're new to the channel. If we could blast 2,000 likes, that would be fantastic. Till next time, boys. Tschüss. Later. Adi. What's happening, boys? And welcome to the first upload on this glorious Saturday. We've got... 
two World Cup matches today. We've got Netherlands, freaking Costa Rica, then we have Belgium, Argentina, an action-packed day of World Cup action, and I am incredibly redundant with